Hi, my name is Dr. Carolyn Brockington, and I'm here with supermodel <laughs> Claudia Mason, and we're here to discuss World Stroke Day and uh, stroke awareness. So, Claudia, I know that you had a stroke. Tell yeah. us about your story. Yes, I did. I was in a jazz dance class, and I was doing a typical jazz dance move in that class, which is throwing uh, one's head around, a la Beyonce. Everyone has a visual of it when I, when I say a la Beyonce. And I didn't have any aches or pains after this class. And I went home and had an uneventful night's sleep. And the next day I had an appointment. And on, uh, when I got to the place of the appointment, I had the worst headache of my life. And I had my vision was blurry. Visual field going in and out, the oddest, oddest symptoms. And I thought, well, I'm a healthy young person. This just must be what a migraine is. I've never had a migraine, but I, I couldn't think it was anything else. There was no reason to. I, you didn't even think stroke. Never. Mm -hmm. I just had never, I, didn't, I didn't, wasn't properly informed mm -hmm. on who can get stroke, which is what we're going to tell you. And so uh, fortunately, the visual field started to clear up, but there was still this deficit to the left side. And I knew now it's a day later at this point um, that I had to get to the hospital. So I took myself to the hospital where I met you, Dr. Brockington, and she and her, doc, you and your team had told me that um, I had a stroke. And it was from a freak accident in that dance class in that moment where throwing my head around led to a, an arterial dissection, which led to a stroke. Strokes can happen at, to, at any time, at any age. No, I mean, I think what's important is that your story really highlights that anyone can develop a stroke, not just if you get older, but anyone. And that if you have symptoms that develop suddenly, like Claudia, uh, again, stroke symptoms happen over seconds to minutes. It's not going to be days and months and years. It's really going to happen quite suddenly. Uh, and you might not have visual symptoms. You might have weakness or numbness, et cetera. So you really have to get to the emergency room right away. Uh, you know, Claudia, there's an initiative, uh, Together to End Stroke, which is sponsored mm -hmm. by Covidian. Right. And it really highlights this acronym that we talk about, FAST, or ACT FAST. So if you think of the word fast, F is for face. If you look at someone's face and it's drooping on one side, or A is for arms, you ask them to hold out their arms and they're weak on one side, or S is for speech, if someone has slurred speech or difficulty with language, they can't understand you or they can't express themselves, or, and T is time, right? We want everyone to call 911 immediately and get the appropriate treatment. So we want people to act fast. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And you can go to strokeassociation.org to inform yourself uh, um, more thoroughly on the recognizing this, the signs of stroke so that, God forbid, if you have one or a friend or a neighbor or a stranger is having one, you can immediately go to the hospital yourself or tell them to go or take them to the hospital. Not do what I did, wait 24 hours. I'm very lucky that I'm fine and, and have been going on with my life and can do everything that I was able to do before I had the stroke. But not everyone would are necessarily will necessarily be that lucky. So just get to the hospital as soon as you can. So know the signs and symptoms and also prevention is key. Uh, go to strokeassociation.org for more information.